Hi there, it's Craig here. Well, welcome to part two of the uh, kegging series, and I got bubbles. I got bubbles. What does that mean? <laughs> when your keg reaches the end of its, uh, its run of beer, you're going to get a bubbly sound at the bottom, and then you know, oops, I'm out of beer. Um, not a very nice sound, but it happens. So this is the time that you want to now, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to clean your keg. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my, I've already disconnected my gas line. I turned off my gas and pulled off the connect valve. Pull off my beer valve. You might get some dripping out of here, but you're going to want to clean this. I'm going to set that aside. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, now, <clears throat> so the next thing you're going to want to do is let off the pressure. All right. That was the five or six pounds of pressure that was in there for serving or whatever it was. Now you've done that, you can take off your lid. Let me just roll these get them out of the way. It might be sticky, as mine is. Wow, it's really sticky. Because when I first kegged this beer, um, when I was purging it, I, some of the beer came out and it spilt around. And I didn't wash it off. I should have, but I didn't. So there it is. It's off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that aside. And we're just going to rinse this out. Okay, we're going to dump out the excess beer. Probably aren't going to be able to see that. No, you're not going to be able to see that. Just a little bit of beer in the bottom there. And we're just going to give it a good rinse with hot water. And all around. Okay, just give it a little rinse off there. No, that's not the final. Thing. So we've got a little bit of water in there just to rinse that off. And rinse out the insides. Pour that out. And I can still see foam in the water in the sink, so we know it's not completely rinsed. So we'll do that again. And while I'm at it, I'm going to rinse off the top where I spilt the, where the beer kind of came gushing out of the pressure relief valve when I was depressurizing. Keep your kegs in good condition. They'll last you for a long, long, long time. Okay, put some more hot water in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab, I got this out already. But it's right here. I just got a brush. I mean, this isn't this. <laughs> I got this from the grocery store. Um, you can get better ones, but uh, you just want to go around in the bottom, scrape out any sediment, scrape around the sides, just to get anything loose off of there. This is again. This is just common sense. Like you know, clean out your keg after you're done using it. So we've got some hot water in there. What I'm now gonna do, OxyClean. Okay, this is what a lot of guys use. You can get keg cleaners, but I, where do you get those? I mean, you know, so about half a scoop of OxyClean and it goes. This stuff is, it's pretty much odorless. Um, you can get what's called Oxy Free, which is a really odorless one, but this doesn't have an odor really to it. Put on your lid. Okay, and now we're going to give it a good old shake around. Now what's happening here is basically the inside of the keg is getting um, cleaned. All right. But the inlet and the outlet valves aren't really getting cleaned, are they? So we're going to take care of that in a second. Okay. So there you go. You've, you've cleaned the inside of the keg. Okay. What about these inlet outlet valves? Well, the outlet valve's easy. All we got to do is connect up our uh, outlet line. Right. And what you're going to do you're going to take your gas line, you're going to hook it up to the other side, 
and you're gonna put, a, put about two pounds on it. You don't only need a couple of pounds of pressure. And what I do <clears throat> is I just turn on my tank and then I turn it back off. There, I got enough pressure in here to run beer through my outlet line. So now we're just gonna turn this on. Not beer, but see the beer come out of there? So now we're running OxyClean through the inside line, the beer line that's inside the keg, and your um, outlet valve that you use to dispense your beer. We're just gonna let that run for a little bit. Might wanna put a little bit more on that. Just give it a little boost. Some more going through there. Okay. And OxyClean has a residual feel to it. So you're gonna have to rinse this really, really well. Okay, that's good. I'll take that off for now and set it aside. Okay, so now we've got the inside of the keg is clean, the line for the beer is clean, the dispenser is clean. Take the gas off. Let the pressure out. And pour that out. The beer outline is clean because we just ran fluid through it. The top of it's clean. It's all good. You can take it apart and inspect it if you want and just make sure nothing got stuck in there, like some hops or something like that. But, and then I would recommend you do that. But as far as I'm concerned, that's been cleaned, not rinsed yet, but it's been cleaned. But the gas line, we don't know about that because we haven't ran any fluids through it. So it's my opinion, okay. Okay, there's, again, you probably didn't see this very well in the last video. There's the, um, the gas inlet tubing with the little gasket. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a little, a little container, all right? And here's your, uh, let's put that down. Here's your, your, again, your inlet valve with the little poppet valve inside. Maybe get a little better look at that this time. Okay, it's just a little spring. There's a little rubber gasket around there. And this, is, this looks clean to me. It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. But because we weren't able to run any fluids through it, I'm just gonna put it in a little thing full of hot water and just give it a little wash. That's all. Okay. There we are, see? No problem. Let's put that back together. And on it goes. Just gonna do it finger tight for now because I'm gonna take it back off in a bit. As far as this one goes, I think you've, well, you, you can check it if you want. You can take, go ahead, give it a look. Just to see if there's anything left inside. And again, we'll look at this in more detail in this video because I've got a, a close up camera running here. There's the same valve. Different than this side because the, the same, the fittings won't interchange, but it's the same construction inside. A little poppet valve in there. Okay? And it's got OxyClean on it. I can feel that. Of course, here's your beer line. It has a little rubber gasket there. And there it is. And it's clean because we just cleaned it. And we just ran beer through, or OxyClean through it. Okay? So there we go. Put that back on. Oh, extra step there. I don't know whether it's necessary. I do know that some beer got up into my gas line last time, just a little bit. So why not clean the gas, the gas inlet line? Why not? Okay, so now my job is to rinse this thing out really, really well so that it's got no OxyClean in it. That's gonna take a few minutes. I'm going to do it about five or six times. I really don't want this stuff left in there. Um, we want a nice clean keg.
each time you rinse it, you want to make sure you pull up your uh, relief valve because there'll be a little steam in there and a little bit of pressure. And I'm going to fill it one more time. This time we're going to clean the, um, the beer line, okay, because it still has OxyClean in it. Let's get it centered there. Sometimes it's hard to get it like that. There we go. Okay. And we're going to snap on our, uh, our gas line. Anytime you want to push fluids through your keg, you need to put a little bit of gas in it in order to do that. And here's our beer outline. We're going to want to put a little bit of pressure on our keg and then push water through our outline to get the OxyClean out of that. I'm going to let this run for, you know, a minute or so, just to make sure that it's all out of there. Awesome. Okay, that's all we need. Take that off. And take that off. Oops. All right, so what we've got here is a clean keg, a very clean keg. Just rinse your keg out after you use it. Um, don't leave the beer sitting there for a week or two. Get it rinsed out as fairly, you know, as quickly as you can the, the same day or the next day. Rinse it out really well, let it dry, leave the lid off and store it. You might even want to tip it upside down and let it drip dry for a little while um, before you store it just to get all the water out of it. But that's all there is to it keg cleaning. It's important. Normally just a good rinse and you sanitize it before you keg your beer. That's going to be the next video. Actually doing the kegging. I'm going to keg this batch of beer right here. It's been in here for 10 days. It's a Cooper's lager. It's ready to go. See you there. Thanks for watching. See you.